All right, guys, welcome to another tutorial. And in this video, we're going to be talking about random access files. And let me tell you why we would ever want to use a random access file or access it in that way. Now, this isn't like a new type of file. It's pretty much just a different way of working with the same file. So we can use um, random access tools on this file. You don't have like half of your files on your computer are sequential, half are random. It's just how you work with it and open it. So the reason that you may want to use it in this way is because of this. Say that we have a long poem right here and we only want to change one little word in the middle. Maybe we had a typo. Well, before we only had the tools to read an entire file or write an entire file. But what we want to do is we just want to go in the middle of it, jump around to the middle right there and just edit a little bit of it. Well, the other tools are kind of powerful. So this is kind of like um, like a surgeon. You go in and just rip out a specific part. Well, a surgeon probably wouldn't rip something out. He'd probably do it delicately. So that's what I'm going to teach you guys how to do. Just my headset. I got like the most comfortable headset. I don't know what it's called. I posted it on my uh, forum. I don't know. I'll post it below, but freaking love it. Don't even know why I said that. Don't worry about it. So before our tools were W for write, R for read, and A for append. And the truth is, those are the only letters you can use, but there are different modes as well, or ways to enhance it, should I say. So what we can use is use W plus, and what this means is whenever we add a plus to the end of this, it means open the file, open it for writing first, and then after that, this plus means that we can read it afterwards. So this means open a file for writing first, then reading. And also what I want to do is this. Let's use a new example. So delete everything out of there and save your file. Don't delete the file, just delete all the crap out of it. So now we have the tool to pretty much use this as a sequential access file, or excuse me, a random access file. So now that we just have a blank file, let's go ahead and just print something on the screen. So F puts and by the screen, I mean the file, of course. And what's the dumbest thing I can think of? I ate three pumpkins today. And that actually is true, ladies and gentlemen. And F pointer. So again, just like before, this prints something in your file. Don't believe me? Check it out. Our file now says I ate three pumpkins today. OK, well. Bucky, you said that you're going to be teaching me about random access files, and this is pretty much just a freaking sequential file. I'm not learning anything new here. Well, let's go ahead and start learning that sequential crap that I promised you. Now, the first thing I want to do is show you guys about a new function called fseek. What this function does is it takes your file pointer, which resembles the cursor right here, and instead of just starting at the beginning, or the end for reading and writing and appending, you can actually hop to a specific part anywhere in your file. So you can hop to like right there if you want to. So say that we wanted to keep this first part of the sentence, I ate three, but I forgot it wasn't pumpkins that I ate, it was actually three munchkins that I ate. So I want to change that. So we'll go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, so remember that we want to start at the seventh location in our file. So just keep that in mind, even though you don't know how to do it yet. So the first parameter it takes is, OK, what file pointer do you want me to move around? Well, we only have one file pointer. The second parameter is what position. Actually, let me type this out, and then you guys are going to um, understand what's going on. Seek underscore set. So again, what this function does is it takes a file pointer and it moves it to somewhere in your um, your file. Now this seek set parameter, seek set means start at the beginning of the file. Why they named it seek set, I don't know. They should be seek to the beginning. Would be a lot easier, but now you know what it does. So it says start at the beginning and the second parameter, seven, is pretty much saying how many characters or how many spaces do you want me to move it? So again, start at the beginning. Now hit right on your keyboard sometimes. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. 
So now our file pointer is right after that three. And now whenever we write to it, it doesn't overwrite this beginning stuff. It just overwrites right there. So now if we just do something like F puts, we can fix this and remember, since we are butted up against the three, right now we need to add a space in our string first or else it'll, I don't know, appear bunched together. Munchkins on Friday. So it wasn't pumpkins I ate today, I actually ate munchkins on Friday. My apologies. So F puts, of course we need to do that in file pointer so it knows to move it. And whenever we run this, check out our file. So it kept the I83 and then what it did is it pretty much took that string, the F puts, and put it in place beginning at wherever we told the fire pointer to move. Now, just so uh, I show you guys one other thing, let me change this. All right, and get rid of the string. So remember, seek set means start from the beginning of your file. But there are um, some instances where we want to start from the end. And in this case, this is a little easier to uh, remember, seek end. So again, set means beginning, end means end. I don't know, kind of weird, but. Now, another thing is whenever we start from the end, this just puts your file pointer in a starting location. If we put seven now, then it would start at the end and try to move it seven forward. However, if you ever want to move backwards, then that middle parameter has to be a negative number. So let's, uh, I don't know, do something like this. So right now, one, two, three, four, five, six. All right. So we'll put I three munchkins on seek at the end, move back six spaces and write something else, whatever I think of, whatever pops into my stupid brain. All right. So seek at the end and negative six which means move back six spaces in, um, okay. So it says I ate three munchkins on, I don't know, on top of a mountain. This story is getting incredibly dumb, but at least we learned how to work with a random access file. So run this bad boy and check it out. The first thing it printed was I ate three pumpkins today, and then it replaced that I ate three munchkins um, on Friday, and then it took Friday, moved back six, and replaced it with on top of a mountain. So again, this actually makes sense. I had three munchkins on top of a mountain. So all the crap that we did, we now got the world's dumbest sentence. So guys, not only do you know how to work with random access files, but you also learned what the world's dumbest sentence was, and that is, I ate three munchkins on top of a mountain. So now that your brain is filled with this useless information and also some useful information, we can move away from files and on to functions. So that's what we're going to be covering in the next tutorial. And it's actually a really cool part of C. So, uh, I don't know. I'm going to stop talking now. Go eat some munchkins. See you later.